Oh my god, I can't think right now. Can pregnancy brain be real? Like, I'm having pregnancy brain symptoms right now. Hey guys, so I am 15 weeks and five days today. I'm getting really close to like doing these videos basically on the next week. So sorry this week has just been super, super busy as usual, I guess. But this was the last week of school for the twins and for Lilia. And so everything's just kind of been hectic, crazy. The twins had like a graduation ceremony, which I filmed and that will be up shortly. I've just been super busy and I'm finally getting a chance to sit down and do this video. So hopefully in the coming weeks I can get back on a normal schedule like before three days because I'm practically 16 weeks at this point. Like I said, I am 15 weeks and five days today. So just little things here and there have been happening this week. For one, I finally got my first pair of maternity pants. I got one pair of maternity shorts, but the ones that I got were, they were a size small and they're like really baggy and I don't know if that's like how it's supposed to be but I don't like the way that it looks like I don't want it to be like skin tight like showing off my booty but I want it to like at least fit so I'm wondering if I should have gotten like a smaller size an extra small but like no part of me should fit into an extra small so I don't know I don't know if it's just like the maternity sizes I don't know so I finally got my first pair of maternity pants and I actually got two pairs but I was really bummed because sorry I'm looking at the other pair I don't know why I got them from Target and they're not terribly priced they're pretty good price and I really 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 love the way that they fit but I noticed that one of them had a hole on like the side of them like not like a trendy hole like a hole on the side and so I have to take it back and hope that they have another one because that was the only one that I could see in that size and that style so that's kind of a bummer and I haven't had a chance to take it back to Target yet so I've just been wearing the same pair of eternity pants switching off between my last normal pair that fits me or somewhat fits me and these like every other day so in addition to the maternity pants, I've kind of bought a lot of things this week. Like I've bought the most this week so far, like for this pregnancy. Um, I bought this chair, this rocking chair, as you can see, and that's debatable on whether it's like actually for the baby, but it is, it's from like the baby section in Target. It's a rocking chair and it's so much comfortable to do videos in than sitting on the floor with my pregnant self. Hopefully this will be a good place to do videos. I, I think it looks, everything seems to look okay. So. Hopefully this will be a new video spot and it's so much more comfortable. So yeah, I bought this. It was on sale and it's a cute little, if you have me on Snapchat, I, I took a picture of it. So you might have already seen it, but it's not like one of those gliders with the ottomans. Before this one, I had two different gliders and I really loved them, but they really wear out pretty quickly. I had to buy a new one after like a year or so of using the first one because it just started falling apart. Those ones are pretty cheap. Um, but it worked really nicely, rocked really well, it was perfect for what it needed to do. But this one just like matched our room, we have like grey and yellow decor in our room and this is like the perfect grey to match the room and this is where most of the baby stuff is gonna be while the baby is still a baby. So anyway, yes, we bought this, I bought maternity pants and then the other thing I bought this week, and I did put this on Snapchat also, my first little pair of outfits for this baby. I finally found a cute, or I think they're cute anyway gender neutral set of onesies so i will show you they're from target the circo brand and it comes with a pack of three and they're little whales it's so cute so if it's a girl you could just like throw a yellow bow on top or like one of those little turquoise bows on top and then you're good boy just leave it like this so this is gender neutral this is good i'm trying to look for more of these things that you can like turn into both you know so it has this little one with the whale on it and then it has the strip it's just a yellow striped onesie and this one's my favorite i just love it it's so cute the little whales i did get these in newborn because i don't have anything in newborn frankly and people a lot of a lot of people not like youtube people like subscribers but people in my like real life have been asking me if i'm gonna have a baby shower and i was thinking no i'm like at this point once you hit like three four five kids like i think a baby shower is kind of frowned upon you know you don't ask for stuff at that point you've had so many but a lot of people were really bummed when i said that so i don't know people were making good points like you celebrate only the early kids and not the later kids like that doesn't really make sense so i'm thinking of maybe having just a like 
I wouldn't want people to bring gifts, but more of just like a celebration, I guess. Maybe we could do diapers, because you always need diapers. That's one thing that I will for sure need is diapers, so people could just bring like diapers. But I don't know, a lot of people were like really bonds when I said I wasn't planning on having a baby shower so obviously it would just be like close family and friends type deal but I don't know people who have had more than one or two kids like do you still have baby showers I know there's something called a baby sprinkle I was gonna have one with Landon at the end of my pregnancy but obviously things got crazy and that didn't happen so maybe we'll do something like that like a baby sprinkle and just like have people get together another person suggested that after the baby was born we could have some kind of like baby shower because at that point we'll know whether it's a boy or a girl and stuff like that but my concern with that is having so many bodies swarmed around my brand new infant who is mostly unvaccinated at that point you know so like i don't know i was just i don't know how i would feel about it and i'm totally not like a bubble mom like i don't like put my kids in a bubble like oh don't enter my house unless you wash your hands type person i'm not like that but i think just having like a ton of people like people who maybe i wouldn't normally see so soon after birth be around the baby i don't know maybe that's weird and also because it's going to be flu season so i don't know i'm not really sure how i'm feeling at this point so suggestions are definitely wanted but for the most part I have felt in the past so overwhelmed with the amount of baby clothes baby things that I had with all of my other babies with this baby I told Chris I like literally we're gonna have like eight outfits like maybe ten outfits so that way they just wear the same ones they grow so fast and I remember with Landon he had so many hand-me-downs and just like cute things that people had bought that he literally wore every outfit once and then it would get thrown in the laundry and his little laundry basket like I swear this is gonna sound bad I like never washed it because he never needed clothes so it kind of just sat there and it gets really overwhelming thinking like oh I have to wash all these outfits but I really don't because he has 300 more outfits in this drawer you know so I'm I don't necessarily want to have a ton of baby clothes and a ton of things like that but diapers diapers I will accept. So just to clarify too, I think I've made this pretty clear in my past videos, but people are still asking, oh, when are you going to find out what you're having? Because I'm 15 weeks now and the, at least the places around here, they will guarantee gender at 15 weeks. If you go in to find out what you're having, they will guarantee it at 15 weeks. So I could walk right into Peak Baby right now and they'll be like, oh, it's a, and, then, and they would supposedly guarantee accuracy. But as I've mentioned before, we are for sure not finding out what we're having. We don't want to know. I think everybody in the whole world wants to know. Like, oh my gosh. It's so funny in our family and like our friends and everybody's like, why? Why are you doing this to us? My best friend has pretty much threatened to drag me out of my house to find out what I'm having. Like, everybody is just like so, it's so abnormal nowadays to not find out what you're having. Unless like you can't. Like if the legs are folded, that's different but for us to just be like nope we don't want to know what it is people are just like what so I'm gonna stop rambling about that now but my symptoms this week my number one symptom this week has been headaches non-stop I don't even know like at what point it's considered a migraine but I will wake up and I will just have a headache all day long go to sleep wake up still have a headache all day long and it's really weird to me because I never have headaches like literally I could count on one hand how many headaches I've had in my life so these headaches have just been killing me and I've actually given in and taken some Tylenol which I really 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 try to stay away from medicine altogether not stay away from it I'm not like super oh no don't drug me up type person but I just don't like to take ibuprofen or Tylenol for like 101 fever you know like if it gets to a high fever and same with my kids if my kids have a low-grade fever I don't just pop them with medicine and like say we're good to go but, but especially for myself it takes a lot for me to finally give in and take medicine I think I take pain pretty well like I'm really try not to be like a complainer about things and I know like these pregnancy videos like it's pretty much just a video talking about all of your pregnancy complaints <laughs> that's really what these are right but really in my day-to-day -day life like I don't like to complain about things and this headache has just been killing me another symptom this week and this I know is a pregnancy symptom but I don't remember ever experiencing it to this extent every night I have insanely vivid 
dreams. Like I wake up convinced that whatever happened actually happened. There was one night and it actually was really sad. It was me like in my normal right now 15 weeks and I had a miscarriage and I like went to the hospital and it was like this huge thing and I was crying and I woke up and I was like oh my god like am I still pregnant? Like it freaked it really freaked me out. It really freaked me out. And I woke up the next morning wishing I had one of those like fetal Dopplers like that at home fetal Dopplers because I was that convinced that it had actually happened. It was really, really scary. And most of them aren't like that bad. There was another one that I had. I had quadruplets and it was three girls and one boy. And that was so bit Like I woke up the next day and I was like, I think we need to go get another ultrasound. <laughs> like I'm having quadruplets. You don't understand. It was just really weird. It was three boys and one girl I remember. And it was, I don't know, it was really weird. Like these insanely vivid, wacky dreams. So on the topic of a fetal Doppler though, it seems like most people nowadays have an at-home fetal Doppler. I have been considering looking into one just for fun, I think. I just don't know, like, do they actually work, I guess? Anyway, so I've been looking into getting one of those and I'm not for sure on whether or not I'm going to yet, but the ones that I found are pretty cheap. So I think I might just to have, I guess. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Another symptom this week, I've talked about in previous videos how my face is breaking out. Well, my face is like cleared up a little bit and it's all on my back. And that's absolutely disgusting, I know. Especially with summer coming right now. And I'm gonna be wearing like tank tops all summer long because I'm gonna be hot and pregnant. So I'm probably gonna be like living in tank tops and dresses. And my back is breaking out so bad. It's so embarrassing. The other thing this week, a couple of my friends have brought it up to me and my husband has brought it up to me. But this pregnancy is making me mean. I don't know how they can stand being around me and there's been a couple times where I'm catching myself and I'm like Jessica calm down I have a really short fuse and I think it's a mix of like taking classes having a million other kids at home and then this pregnancy has just been absolutely miserable for me but I have just had a really short fuse and I feel bad about it most of the time but I think a lot of the time I don't even realize it but I've just been really mean and I feel really bad especially for Chris because he puts up with so much like yesterday I wanted a very specific thing from the store and it was something that you can't find at every store he used to get up at 5 in the morning for work and it was 10 o'clock at night and this man went to four different stores to find this product for me and I was like oh I'm so lucky like I really am lucky and I don't try to be mean like <laughs> I don't want to be mean but I'm just mean in my last video I talked about how my eyes were twitching and I had about 300 people tell me that that could be related to a lack of magnesium with that information I went to my midwife of course I'm not just gonna like take YouTube comments and be like oh they're right so I went to my midwife and I explained to her what was happening and she was like absolutely take magnesium supplements potassium supplements and cut calcium supplements. So I am now on five different medications <laughs> every single night. I take magnesium, potassium, calcium, iron because I'm anemic, and my prenatal vitamin. On top of that, occasionally I'm taking two Tylenol for my headaches. So I am just drugged up. <laughs> but that being said, I just started taking those supplements about two or three days ago and I have noticed a significant difference in my eyes twitching starting today the past two days because I know it like takes a little bit for your body to kind of regulate but today is the first day where I think my eyes have only twitched twitched once and in the past it would literally be every hour like, it was just the weirdest feeling like they would just twitch out of nowhere like my eyelid and like I don't know it was just really weird who would have known I guess right so I'm taking all those now and it seems to have been better and it's actually weird because my varicose veins have kind of eased up. So I don't know if like that's related to it, if that makes any sense or if I'm just completely going crazy right now, but my freaking battery is about to die. Oh my God. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my belly really quick. Here is my 15 week belly. Sorry, there's stains on my shirt. Hi, are you joining me? Okay, don't mind him in the background, but this is my 15 week belly from the front from the side that is it for this video guys sorry that was such a quick belly shot but my camera is gonna die make sure you follow me on facebook instagram and i now have a snapchat all of the links will be down below i'll talk to you next week for week 16 bye this pregnancy has been by far the worst pregnancy one thing that i'm gonna plan on doing is having one girl outfit and one boy outfit